This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know, we aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander, me, to be. Sacrificial lambs. All of us. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we... Shut up! You kill 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. 2B <clears throat> hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. The official designation is 2E, number 2 Type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Nina? Shut up! Shut up! <clears throat> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be irrational Pod and... 153. I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2.
It doesn't matter. None of this matters! Nine S. But if it doesn't matter, why do I long for humans like this? Why do I desire the touch of something that no longer exists? It's how we were made. Androids were designed to protect their human ma masters. Our core programming demands that we... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Fine then. We'll just destroy it. <laughs> if it all goes away, that'll solve everything! <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> I'm... My name is... My name is 9S. A newly manufactured scanner model. January 30th, 11,942. Rolled out at 4.25 a.m. Bunker time. I will fight for humanity with all my strength. The pleasure is mine, Commander. I lie collapsed in a space of blinding white. The pain is gone. The light envelops me. It's so warm. I was anxious, a soldier from the moment I was born, thrown into the world alone. Nothing to rely on, no God to believe in. I was alone, tasked with infiltrating enemy territory to gather intelligence. In the fog, in the flames, Alone. My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Tubi came off as being rather aloof. Cold, even. She must have wanted to distance herself from me. I guess.
guess she didn't want to be attached to someone. She had to kill again. And again. And again. But... I... Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. I was happy to be with someone. It was like I had a family. My damage worsens. I start to lose my memories. The space fills up with pure white light. It's like being buried in snow. It's a little bit cold. It's a little bit frightening. Will my soul disappear? A dark fog clouds my vision as it ebbs and flows in its snow, dreamlike way. It gradually takes human shape. It's the red girl. She slowly begins to speak. This tower is a colossal cannon built to destroy the human server. Destroy the server and rob the androids of their very foundation. That was the plan devised by those girls. But they changed their mind. They saw us androids. They saw Adam. And Eve. They saw how we lived. Considered the meaning of existence. And came to a different conclusion. This tower doesn't fire artillery. It fires an arc. An arc containing memories of the foolish machine life forms. An arc that sends those memories to a new world. Perhaps they'll never reach that world. Perhaps they'll simply wander an empty sky for eternity. It's all the same to the girls. For them, time is without end. Adam and Eve are inside the Ark. Eve is asleep. Adam holds him in a gentle embrace. He seems to be smiling at me. I try to look up at him, but my body refuses to move. It looks like the damage has spread to my motor functions as well. Will you come with us? Asks Adam. The question was completely free of malice. It seemed I no longer had a reason to hate machines. Maybe I never had a reason in the first place. What have I been fighting for? Who have I been living for? I don't know anymore. I try to speak my mind, but the words don't come out right. My thought routines are losing cohesion. I don't. I can't remember my name. I'm mustering all my strength. I force out the words. I'll stay. I. We Yorha. We don't deserve to be loved by this world. Ah. So that's where you were. To be.
Functionality reduced due to hacking activity. Proposal. Destroy your unit 5S. Damn it. <laughs> Acknowledge. <laughs> Tell me where to find the virus correcting 9S. Affirmative. You're her unit, A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert! Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yoha tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, pod. You know that? I'll take care of everything. Pod. Take care of 9S. What of you, A2? I've still got something I need to do. You go ahead. Acknowledged. I never quite realized how beautiful this world is. I'm coming, everyone. I'm coming.